in this particular lecture we will discuss about multiple alleles what are the multiple alleles how we will find out the process of the formation of the alleles multiple alleles and what are the different characteristics of multiple alleles with their examples so first we will discuss what is multiple alleles now you all know that as per the mendelian inheritance each gene is having its two alternative form we all know among these two forms one form will be the dominant one or it is the partially dominant and the another form will be the recessive one now the form of the gene which will be the dominant will be termed as the wild type and which is the recessive one is called as the mutant one now example is the length of the wings for example the length of the wings is basically of two types one is the normal which is represented with vg plus and another is the vestigial that is vg now normal is the dominant form and the vestigial is the recessive form so we all know that each gene has two alternative form or it is called as alleles or we called as allelomorphs now as we are saying that one is the wild and another is the mutant so we all know from the one mutant form we can also have the another mutant form or from the one mutant another mutant form can arise now as we all know that when there is the presence of two alleles for a particular gene is present so there there will be the production of one more allele so what will happen the gene will have more than two alleles so when a particular gene is having more than two alternative forms or more than two allelomorphs then these alleles are called as multiple alleles and these alleles are making a series of multiple alleles the another aspect is the presence of more than two alternative form of a particular gene is called as multiple allelism now the another important aspect what will be the characteristics of the multiple alleles all the alleles of a series occupy the same locus on the chromosome it doesn't mean that when a particular gene is having more than two forms then all the forms will be present at the different locus no it is not so all these alleles will occupy the same locus the another aspect is when they will occupy the same locus so no crossing over will take place among them because they are present on the same position all the alleles influence the same characters means if the alleles are there multiple alleles are present for the eye color in drosophila so all the alleles will affect the same character the wild type allele is the dominant one the another is the recessive one and you can find out that all the different alleles will show the dominance or you can say that they will present the intermediate effect the another characteristic is that when the two mutant alleles are crossed the mutant phenotype will appear the two mutant will give rise to the another mutant now we will take the example of the eye color in drosophila drosophila melanogaster that is the fruit fly which is having one of the very interesting example of the multiple alleles white eyed drosophila is the mutant form and the red eyed is the normal form of the eye color or you can say the wild type eye color which is present in the drosophila is red this red and white type is showing the dominant and recessive relationship as we all know that 
red is the dominant one and the white is the recessive one. Besides these two forms means there is a gene for the eye color and this particular gene is present into two alternative form which we have discussed earlier that is red and white. Now we are having the different shade between red and white. These shades you can say there are the alleles which are representing the shades. These alleles are forming a multiple allele series. This is the example which is showing that there are the two different forms. One is red which is white. Another uh, which is white one and another is recessive which is white. Now this is dominant and this one is recessive. Among these two, we are having cherry, blood, eosine, apricot, ivory and many more different types of shades which are represented by different alleles. So, more than these two alleles, we are having number of alleles present which are called as multiple alleles in the eye color of the drosophila. So, this is the genotype you, you can find out plus and this is a small w which is representing the white. We are having this heterozygous condition. In this, wild is dominant over the recessive one. We are having the red. Another is what we are having cherry. Small w with superscript ch. Similarly, we are having blood, eosine, apricot and ivory. These are presenting the phenotype red eyes because of the presence of plus that is the wild type allele. So, wild type allele is dominant over the red eyes. When we are having the different condition means when we are going to cross the other heterozygotes or you can say when the two mutant get crossed we are getting the intermediate type of eye color. So what I mean to say that at the one end we are having red at the another hand we are having white type of allele and among these two we are having different mutants which are forming the multiple allele series. So, this is all about the multiple alleles, allelism in case of eye color in Drosophila. Thank you.